I'm going to give an introduction for the first time ever on Film Riot, and that's because this episode was actually supposed to come out last Monday, and then it was supposed to come out on Wednesday, and then on Friday, and then over the weekend, and it didn't come out on any of those days, and now it's coming out today on this Monday, and I wish I could tell you why, but I really can't get into it for legal reasons, but it was very frustrating, and I'm really sorry about that, guys, but there is a uh, the golden pond at the end of the rainbow does that make sense no if it looks like i haven't had much sleep lately it's because i haven't and the reason is because we have this bad boy right here this is the red epic the 5k camera from red which is on loan to us by the amazing eric kessler we're one of the kessler shooters so uh he sent it to us on loan for about two weeks or so and this is the same camera that peter jackson's using for the hobbit they shot the new spider-man on pirates of the caribbean david fincher has used it for two films now so this is a full-on cinema camera so you can as you can imagine we've been drooling all over it and uh, typically with Film Riot we don't have time to put a full effort into anything I mean we usually we're coming up with the idea shooting the idea and delivering the idea within days so we never have time to get something as top quality as we possibly can for you guys and what's exciting is is we finally just decided to forego sleep to get something top-notch to put out for all of you using this amazing camera I mean it's still our typical run and gun but we decided to you know what let's just spend a few days making something awesome so we did our really first ever full-blown serious action short film it should be about seven minutes long we're gonna release it independently just for you guys so uh hopefully you love it and uh, follow me on twitter and facebook we're doing a lot of updates behind the scenes uh photos and stuff like that i'm also going to be using premiere to edit it so we're going to be talking about the red camera coming up we're going to be talking about fight uh choreography cinematography color correction adobe premiere a lot of cool stuff coming up plus we're shooting more posters for tell we're going to get into that so stay tuned enjoy the episode you were supposed to see last week sorry about that but uh hey there is a giveaway at the end of the episode so also I'll see you guys later. You wanna you wanna hug it too? Let's just hug it. This is a family moment. Go ahead, go watch the episode. Family right now. Go watch the episode. Don't be creepy. Go watch the episode. Today's episode of Film Riot is brought to you by Squarespace. Today on Film Riot, we're once again dipping our hands into my mail sack. I got my coffee, got my computer. I'm ready to do this. Mm -hmm. It's a weird way to drink coffee. Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes mystery out of the effects and techniques. Going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and you might think we're in a studio, but we're not. This is actually just my living room. A local theater was cool enough to donate a lot of this stuff to me, and since I'm a cinephile, of course, I was like, this is my home decor, yeah, to my wife's dismay. We also have a bajillion posters, which I think I'm going to start giving away. So we're going to start giving away um, official matinee uh, posters, those double-sided beauties uh, for you guys, which I'll probably, maybe I'll talk about at the end of the episode. So as always, I asked you on Twitter and Facebook to send me in questions that you would like to see answered on the show. And the first question we got is, how do you feel about using lens filters while shooting? UV, MC, ND, or otherwise XOXO? I think filters are great. I don't often use them because we are so run and gun. We typically have an insane short amount of time to shoot something. But filters are awesome, especially ND filters. If you want to have a really wide open iris and you're shooting during the daylight, you really need an ND filter. Otherwise, you're going to be jacking up your ISO to like two freaking thousand or something crazy like that. And it's going to be looking like saving private Ryan but really you're just trying to shoot a romantic comedy so everybody watching is just really confused. Alex says I'm wanting to make my videos look more professional and less immature and my friends suck at acting. Can you help me? A lot of the things people don't get is that you have to shoot within the means that you have at that time. I mean anything you're shooting you're going to be practicing even if it's really stupid. I get asked a lot of times uh, this is the only camera I have. Is this a good camera to use? If it's the only camera you have then yes it's a good camera to use. No matter what you have using it and doing it is the best way to do it at that time it's just practice do more get a budget and then upgrade later on so if your friends suck at acting whatever look past it just start making your short films and once you're making really cool stuff that looks really good you're gonna be able to attract people that are much better actors to your stuff also if they're bad actors maybe do stuff where the acting is bad on purpose I've worked with some bad actors but we did comedy where I wanted the acting to be bad it made it funnier so Go that route. Whatever you have, just make it work. Do something that works. If all you have is a cell phone, shoot something that makes sense to be shot on a cell phone, like a Cloverfield-esque thing where it's all found footage or something like that. So whatever you have, just figure out a way to make that work. There's never an excuse not to be doing it. Edwin asks, hey, Ray, 
What? What advice could you give when laziness sometimes is upon you? Thanks again, great show. The advice I would give is stop being lazy. That works, right? Yeah. RC7 asks, you want to rock? Oh, I think you know I want to rock. Jimmy, what are your thoughts on film schools? Are they worth the money or should you maybe try a different route? That's a really hard question to answer and one that I get asked a lot, but really the answer is it all depends on the person asking the question. If you wouldn't rather live under a bridge or out of your car than not make films, then film school's probably not for you. When you go to film school, you're getting into a ton of debt with student loans that you're going to have to try to pay off for possibly the rest of your life. And a lot of the kids that I went to film school with went not knowing if they actually wanted to make films. They just liked watching movies and assumed they would like making it too, whereas filmmaking is not glamorous behind the scenes at all. It's extremely hard. It's a 24-7 business that's extremely stressful and also very rewarding if you love it, but you have to love it. So if you're not 1,000% sure that you would rather give your firstborn than not make films, I would just start doing it first. There's plenty of information on the web for you to go and learn a lot. And I mean, for a lot of you, if you're really that talented, that might just be enough to get you going anyway. It's a great platform to get seen too with things like Vimeo and YouTube. So I would start there. And once you knew for sure that this is what you have to do for the rest of your life, not just what you would like to do, then I would consider film school. Squarespace is the fastest and easiest way to create a high quality blog portfolio or any kind of website. If you have questions or need help, Squarespace provides every member with amazing support 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Start your website or blog by choosing from over 60 professionally designed templates and then add content from your computer, iPhone or iPad from Squarespace's mobile app, which allow you to easily add entries and manage comments from anywhere. Many of the internet's highest traffic web pages are powered by Squarespace, not to mention a lot of the personal pages of Revision 3 hosts and personalities. So check out squarespace.com to get a two week free trial and 10% off when you sign up in August. Just entered the coupon code FILMRIOT8. Boom right eight, ain't that great? Logo. It's delicious. I noticed Film Riot has a lot of original production. How do you go about making music in your shows, Ant? I make the music sometimes myself using things like GarageBand and Pro Tools, but most of the time, because of our time constraint, I'm using licensed music from APM Music. It's not free, so if you're looking for free music, check out our Film uh, Riot Facebook page. In the notes section, we have a ton of links of where you can find free, royalty-free stock music. Serious question hashtag. Have you ever tried filming at a beach or the ocean? Not during Shark Week though. And what tips have you? We have shot at a beach. We actually shot a genie sketch at a beach. It's, it's pretty much the same as shooting anywhere else. The only thing is you gotta keep in account that the wind is gonna be much more harsh most of the time. So you have to make sure you have a windscreen or a way to block that or it's just gonna sound like the whole time. The other thing is sand is kicked up like crazy and will get all in your gear. So you have to make sure you're protecting your camera, wrap it in a bag or something and you should be fine. How do you feel about Premiere Pro now that Final Cut X didn't turn out the way you hoped for? I haven't really had time to try Premiere Pro out yet. I downloaded the trial, but I haven't been able to get to it, but we are doing uh, some red shooting coming up and I heard that Adobe Premiere handles red footage natively amazingly. So I'm gonna be trying that out with all that stuff. I'll probably edit that, uh, that whole scene that we shoot with the red purely on Premiere. So I'll have an opinion after that, I guess. I was wondering if you have a suggestion for a beginner software. I open After Effects and just am completely overwhelmed. There is a bit of software from a company called FX Home called Hit Film, which I've been hearing a lot of really great things about and it's much cheaper than After Effects. I actually uh, received a trial from them, so I'm gonna be trying that out soon and doing some reviews on it. But uh, I've heard good things, so look into that and also look forward to us using it on the show really soon. What are some good cheap mics, e.g. shotgun, etc.? Actually, the shotgun mic that we use for the most part on the show is only a $200 Audio-Technica mic, which you can find at this link here. And uh, it's a really good mic, especially for the price, as opposed to like, you know, friggin' $1,200 shotgun mic, which I'm actually upgrading to very soon. So maybe everything will start sounding prettier. What is your favorite color? Uh, money. Money is my favorite color. No. Logo. So that's the end of the episode, but as always, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Ryan underscore Conley, and we're gonna be giving a lot of these posters away uh, to, you know what? Let's just, let's give them away now, within the next week. I say, follow me on Twitter and use the hashtag, tweet whatever you want about the show and use the hashtag uh, FilmRiot, 
And uh, I'm going to give away five posters to uh, uh, some of my followers who are using the hashtag Film Riot. Let's see what, got a ton of posters. Let's see what posters we're getting. Hold on. Ah, jeez. What do we got here? We got a Paul poster. Can you see that? We got a ton of Bridesmaids posters. I'll give away three of these. Ooh. The Hangover Part 2. Your Highness. And they're all double-sided. They're, they're actual matinee posters. Battle LA. Unknown. Arthur. This guy. This friggin' guy here. That's a friggin', that's a cool poster. Look his little, his little, his little Jesus sword. What do we got? What do we got? Ah, oh, sweet God. Green Hornet here. Which is a very cool, very cool poster. So there you go. A bunch of posters we're giving away this week, so follow me on Twitter, then tweet whatever you want, just use the hashtag FilmRiot, and you will win, potentially, one of these posters. We're giving away a ton of them, so the odds of winning are very friggin' good. And first come, first serve, as I start picking people, um, I'll give you the option of which one of these posters that you want. But it's still gonna be randomly, but I mean, the sooner you do it, the better chances you have. So, follow me, hashtag FilmRiot, say whatever you want, and uh, let's do this thing. Hopefully we'll start trending. Film Riot Army unite! I'll see you guys next week. Until then, be safe. Watch uh, some good movies.